The Scholastic Ball Report is sponsored by Mingy Beef Jerky, P-Rats, Rafferty's, Roberts Insurance, Crown Trophy, Sutherland Chevrolet, Prep Spin, Double Dogs, and by UK Sports Medicine. Hello, I'm Gary Ball, and welcome to the final show of this year, of the 21st year of the Scholastic Ball Report. we got another great show for you this week. As always, we have a feature from WKYT from around the state. The Roberts Insurance Team of the Week, Bath County Baseball Team. The Crown Trophy Scholar Athlete of the Week, Keith Stewart, a baseball player from Madison Central High School. He's a great young man. From Nicholasville, we have the Sutherland Chevrolet Driver of the Week with some great sports action. And the Rafferty Special Guest of the Week is our part two conversation with Dave Baker. You don't want to miss it. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more on this Classic Ball Report. Last night, Henry Clay alumni gathered to honor retired coach Bob Trippier. He served as baseball coach and at one point boys and girls basketball coach at Henry Clay. He won a girls basketball title for Lexcath in 1999 and won at Henry Clay in 1990. He also brought the Blue Devils a state baseball title in 73, winning over 500 games. Coach Tripp is in hospice care, but he was able to attend. His records speak for themselves, you know, one of the winningest coaches in the state of Kentucky, winning championships in baseball and basketball. I don't know how many students and people whose lives he's affected, but it's all been positive and for that we're all thankful that we're here today. We're all thankful that he's a part of our lives, not that we were a part of his. Hello, welcome back to the Scholastic Ball Report. As we have the Roberts Insurance Team of the Week, Bath County High School Baseball Team. With this is baseball coach Patrick Armitage and one of his starting players. Welcome into the show, coach. Thanks, Gary. We appreciate you having us on. Coach Armitage, how has your season been going so far? Well, we've had a good start, Gary. We started off 11-0. We're now 13-3. We finished up a successful trip to Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Uh, we had a, a very good time down there. Uh, the boys got better as a team. Uh, we're off to a really good start. Describe the makeup and the experience on your baseball team, Coach. Is it an experienced team? We're experienced. And, you know, we were, we were young the last time you and I talked. And I think that was in 2022. Uh, but a lot of those guys are now seniors. We have nine seniors. Uh, most of those guys play a significant role. Uh, we've got a couple of really solid juniors, and then we've got some underclassmen that participate as well. So we've got a pretty good mix, but we're sort of senior-led. And which Jay Smith, who's with me now, is one of our senior leaders. He's our catcher. Uh, he plays in multiple positions. He's off to a really good start as well. So we've we've got a roster that I have a lot of confidence in day in and day out. Well, introduce your player with us today and tell us a little bit about him or tell us a lot about him if you want. <laughs> well, Jace is, uh, you know, he's one of our leaders and, and he's part of a senior class that that has a lot of experience. They played a lot of baseball. They played a lot of travel baseball. Uh, he's, he's a leader, uh, you know, academically. He's got a 3.75 GPA and, and I know that means a lot to you. Uh, you know, he's, a, he's an inspiration to our younger players in our community. You know, he works with young kids like many of our players on our team do. They work with the little leaguers. They work with the coach pitch, pitch kids, the t-ballers. So he's involved uh, in several different things. Uh, he plays high school basketball, had a very successful back here at Bath County too. Uh, he's been on the varsity team in baseball since he was in eighth grade. So he's, he sort of checks all those boxes, and, you know, he means a whole lot to our program as an ambassador. Jay Smith. Jace, you're a senior and a catcher on the baseball team. You play basketball. Talk about how you like playing the position at, at Bath County. Uh, I, I like catching because I know all the guys and we've played together since we were really, really, really young. And just being able to lead them, them being able to lead behind me and lead with me is just really good to have for a team. 
and to continue to win like we are right now this year is just really exciting for us. What do you work on to improve your skills as a catcher? I work on wrist strength a lot to really work on sticking the ball and stealing strikes and balls. And I really work on blocking a lot to keep the ball in front of me because extra 90 feet can lose you a game, one run. Yeah. Do you play in a, any other positions? Yeah, I play almost every infield position, but I mainly play shortstop and first base when I'm not catching. Well, you're an excellent hitter, hitting 457. You lead the state with 12 doubles. Talk about that work on to improve and excel in your hitting. Uh, I really like to just have the same approach in almost every situation. And of course, there are situations that come along, but I like to stay in the gaps a lot. And obviously that works, but, you know, just finding the barrel and the two strikes, just don't, don't go down, don't lose. Just put the ball, on, ball in play. And a lot of doubles come, like for me, two strike hits. I, I just really work on the same approach, finding the barrel, and some of those doubles end up going over sometimes too. Do you have a favorite baseball win at Bath County? I think I do, and I'd like to say I think it was my sophomore year at uh, the Fort Walton Beach Bash uh, against a really good Spencer County team in my sophomore year, like I said. And that was just a really good statement win. We were a pretty heavy underdog, I think. We came out, I think, two, three run ball game. We played really well that game. Who's your favorite Major League Baseball player? Um. He uh, recently retired, but I'm going to have to say Yadier Molina. Well, thank you, Coach Armitage and Jace, for being on the Scholastic Ball Report today. Thanks thank for you. having us. That's it for the Roberts Insurance Team of the Week. We'll be right back with more on the Scholastic Ball Report. Hello, welcome back to the Scholastic Ball Report. As we honor the Crown Trophy Scholar Athlete of the Week, he's Keith Stewart, a baseball player from Madison Central High School. Welcome to the show, Keith. Thank you for having me. It's exciting to be here. <laughs> Who influenced you the most to play baseball, and football, and all that at Madison Central? I would have to say my father. You know, I always grew up watching him play, and, you know, it's just seemed exciting. You know, I always wanted to go play. You play both baseball and basketball, Madison Central. Talk about your commitment to baseball. Do you prefer it over basketball? Yes, sir. I prefer baseball over basketball. You know, I love basketball. I love Coach Feldhouse over there and all the other coaches. But baseball is just my true love. And I just, that's that's where my heart and soul is. You're a senior and a three-year baseball starter. Here's a description of you by your coach. You're a leader, energy giver, hard worker, and really good on the football, on the field, and in the classroom. Talk about all that, what it means to you. It means a lot to me, you know. When I came into the program my freshman year, it was set as you're a massive central baseball player, you know, and you want to be known as the best person in your classroom and not only in the classroom but out in life you know whenever we're out in public and you i'm wearing you know mass essential stuff people i want people to come up to me and be like yeah that's a good kid well you were on the region baseball championship team in 2022 describe what it was like to win that region So many words come up to mind, but it was so unreal, but realistic, you know? It was like being in the video game, kind of. <laughs> you know, it was just so unreal to be in that moment and feel that excitement and bring it back to the city of Madison County and Richmond. And what do you like most about playing high-level baseball? The competition, for sure, you know? when it's a close game and both teams are chirping and everybody's excited, can't get no better than that. 
And what position or positions do you normally play in baseball? I play right field mainly for Massachusetts Central Baseball. And what do you work on the most in practice? We work on a lot of things in practice. You know, I like to hit a lot, but Coach Roof always gets on to me for hitting too much. But I would say mainly in practice, we work on our fielding and, you know, just staying down through the ball, working on ground balls and coming up and hitting our cutoffs in practice. Have you set any goals for yourself this year? Absolutely. I mean, it's not so much of myself for goals, but as a team goal. I think as a team, we all want that state championship and, you know, go back to the region championship, win it, get that feeling again, and then go and win a state championship. And what's your favorite thing about being on the baseball team in Madison Central? <laughs> Got to be, I would say, the blonde hair, to be honest. <laughs> so, you know, dying it every year. Oh, that's awesome. Love it. Now, your academics, you're a 3.5 GPA student. And what's your favorite subject or uh, uh, course at, at Madison Central? I'm a math guy. You know, I've always been pretty good with numbers. And I, I would have to say math. And who's your favorite Major League Baseball player? Brandon Crawford played shortstop for the San Francisco Giants, and now he's at the Cardinals now, but he's my favorite player and always has been. Well, thank you, Keith, for being on this classic ball report today. Thank you for having me. It was an absolute blast. That's Keith Stewart, the Crown Trophy Scholar Athlete of the Week. We'll be right back with more on the Scholastic Ball Report. For our Sutherland Chevrolet Drive of the Week, we go to the KHSAA Boys Sweet 16 quarterfinal round at Rupp Arena. Great Crossing in McGoffin County, both in their first appearance. First quarter, Junius Burrell throws up the lob and Jeremiah Godfrey throws down the slam dunk. Great Crossing goes on to win 83-48 to to advance. That's your Sutherland Chevrolet Drive of the Week. Hello, welcome back to the Scholastic Ball Report as we honor the Rafferty's special guest of the week. He's Dave Baker, sports anchor, senior account executive at WKYT. Welcome into the show, Dave. G-Ball, great being with you. How you doing, my friend? I'm doing good. As a broadcaster, you've worked in a variety of sports. Talk about some of those. Oh, gosh, G-Ball. I... The one thing I've never done in terms of broadcasting, I've probably done about everything. I, I don't think I've ever done any hockey. Um, I don't, uh, I haven't done any lacrosse, but other than that, you know, you know what it's like as a broadcaster, you know, you just try to prepare the same way and prepare for different sports and get as much information as you can. And what you hope you can do is you can uh, accentuate the broadcast, you, you know, as you well know, there are some people in our business that think they are the broadcast and, uh, uh, you know, you and I are not two of those guys. So hopefully we can add some information and do it. Uh, there are just so many great stories and uh, people that have helped out. You, you and I are both friends with Tom Hammond and, and Tom uh, got his break with NBC when they got the broadcast and they started doing the Breeders' Cup. And so the executive producer of NBC Sports at the time uh, was a fellow named Tommy Roy. And Tommy was talking to Tom one day and he said, well, you know, if you if you could call a horse race, you could probably call Olympic track and field. So the biggest marquee event in the world, the Olympic track and field, Tom was able to do that because he could call a horse race. And so, you know, you know what it's like. You just try to be ready with whatever it is that you do and do the best job you can and hope the people that, uh, that have asked you to do it uh, like what you do and ask you to come back again. Most recently, the... KHSA AA uh, Boys Sweet 16 tournament. Uh, you did a great job. Describe that experience. Uh, you're very kind, Gary. I had never done that before. I've done a championship game and some things like that on TV, but had never called it on radio. And and that's one of the things I was I was hoping to do before I roll off into the sunset at some point in time. And, it, and it's just great. You know, the network's great. The people are great. Uh, it, it's, it's a, as you know, it's a really 
uh, it's a really different discipline. Uh, you know, the, the, the majority of the load falls on the play by play guy when you're doing radio on the TV side, it's more of an analyst thing and you're just kind of the setup person for the analyst, but it, it was great. And I am so glad to see the tournament back where it was before COVID. I mean, what a week, what a week of crowds, what a week of people, what a week of renewing friendships and everything. I mean, Hats off to Julian and everybody associated with the KHSA. It was it was an awesome, awesome week. Yeah, it was a great week. Discuss the uh, trends and, and changes you've seen over the years in sports at the high school or the collegiate level. Oh, gosh. Um, you know, I, I think there was a time in high school when people wanted everybody to specialize, and now coaches will tell you that they can get a better reading on an athlete when they see him playing multiple sports. So I think that is kind of turned around a little bit. And, and instead of discouraging kids from playing multiple sports and specializing, I think a lot of people have, uh, have, made, uh, uh, have made it possible for kids to do that. And the whole landscape of college sports has changed. I mean, between, uh, between NIL now uh, and the portal, uh, it, it just completely came, changed the game. You know, before that, people were – talking about how the three pointer was going to be the death of basketball. You know, I, I mean, come on. I mean, look at what it, look at what it's done for every sport. I mean, it has become such a difficult job to be a college coach now because what you do is you get everybody together. You can do your spring practice. You got a little bit of a break and you start the season. Okay. During the season, you recruit. As soon as the season's over, if you're fortunate enough to go to a bowl game, you immediately start bowl practice. But at the same time, you've got to start recruiting. And what you got to do, first of all, is you got to re-recruit the guys you've already signed to keep them there with you so that they don't go someplace else for a better NIL deal. And so yeah. then you've got to deal with that as well. So I think, Gary, that, that all the really good college coaches, regardless of sport, I think we've really seen it in football this year. You've got head coaches going to the NFL to take assistance shop because, believe it or not, it's a better lifestyle to be an NFL coach right now than it is to be a, a, a college coach. We, it, it's still, I, I, I just, I just love, 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 love being around people at, at, at the high school level. I mean, there's some of the, some of the most genuine hardworking, uh, you know, we lost Bob Trippier a couple of weeks ago and I had a chance to be over at Henry Clay high school where they honored him. I guess it was four or five days before he passed. But when, when I was a high school umpire is when I first got to know him. And then, of course, he coached as part of uh, Al Pruitt's staff that won a state championship at Henry Clay. And then he won a championship as the girls coach at uh, Lexington Catholic. And, oh, my gosh, the stories we could tell about Tripp, not only personally, but working for him. And, and, and those are some of my fondest memories. Well, we certainly appreciate your time, Dave. You're one of the best in the business. And uh, I've really appreciated your friendship and your uh, leadership to me over the years. You and Wayne Martin have been very instrumental in what I've been able to accomplish before my stroke and after my stroke. I thank you very much. Well, Gary, you, you know, you did it on your own. I mean, we just, you know, we're there for a small part of it. But listen, dude, you were doing stuff before we did it. You helped open our eyes. And and I, I'm glad you're doing games, but uh, I, I'm just I'm just more so just so thankful uh, that, that you're up and getting back to it. Are you playing tennis yet? Are you close? I'm left-handed. I have to play with my left hand. <laughs> oh, well, that, that's, that's okay. That, that, that is yeah. a-okay. I mean, you might be better left-handed than you are right-handed for crying out That's true. I had not thought about that. That's true. <laughs> there you go. Thank well, you, G-Ball. Great being with you all. And anytime we can ever do anything for you, let us know. Well, thank you, Buzz, for being on this Classic Ball Report. As a Rafferty Special Guest of the Week, that's Dave Baker, sports anchor at WKYT. We'll be right back with more on this Scholastic Ball Report. Well, that's your show for this week as we wrap up the 23-24 school year. Special thanks to a great year ago to our Scholastic Ball Report team. Press Spins King of Stream, William Warfield. Joel Clay, our director of WKYT. Executive producer, Bridget DeVries. WKYT sports staff, Brian Milam, Lee K. Howard, Lindsey Golf, and all the WKYT reporters for the excellent features all year that are part of the Scholastic Ball Report. 
and would like to thank some of these Classic Ballport sponsors, some of them which have been with me for 21 years. UK Healthcare and Sports Medicine, Roberts Insurance, Crown Trophy, Sutherland Chevrolet, Pret Spin, Mingy Beach Jerky, Rafferty's, and P Rats. The Scholastic Ball Report will be back on the CW in early fall, so put us on your must see calendar list and DVR. Until then, from Bridget DeVries and Gary Ball, thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching and remember for, for those you see and those, those you don't see, see you, you keep, keep your eye on, on the Scholastic Ball Report. Ball Report. The Scholastic Ball Report was sponsored by Mingy Beef Jerky, P-Rats, Rafferty's, Roberts Insurance, Crown Trophy, Sutherland Chevrolet, Prep Spin, Double Dogs, and by UK Sports Medicine.